This is Ipamoya indica, blue dawn flower. And a lot of people, uh, it's in the um, family along with morning glories. And this is a perennial version of a morning glory type flower. So as you can see, this is a vine and it's a perennial vine. I've grown this in my yard. I've tried to eradicate it unsuccessfully over the last uh, five or six years. You can see here that it has a striking blue purple flower with a pinkish throat and the leaves have a heart shape but they also have uh, the trilobe there that you see along with it so kind of two different leaf shapes. And um, this is actually a good example of how to use this plant. You see it grown on a chain link fence and I would tell you in design, I'm just going to get into it because vines in general I'm reluctant to use and this is probably the best example of why. They're striking plants, many of them, vines I mean, and um, but the probably the biggest challenge is containment and um, controlling where these things end up. Uh, this one's on a fence where they can kind of keep it controlled by the fence itself and it's got paving around it on most sides so they can control that and um, I think that's probably the best way to use this if you've got shrubs or trees nearby you're gonna see a little later in the video where that happened in my yard I have not been able to get rid of it it was taking over everything climbing on everything and 30 40 feet away from where I planted the plant uh, these runners show up every year um, in other things and uh, in my pool equipment area, inside trees, all over the fencing. Uh, just amazing how prolific this thing is. It's a survivor to say the least. So the reason you use it in design obviously is you can use it for a fence cover like they have here and also for the flowers. Um, the flowers are stunning. These flowers last all day long. Um, mine has flowers most of the season starting from I would say uh, early summer all the way till now. It's the end of summer actually. It's middle October and I still see these flowers around. But the heaviest bloom is really uh, through the middle of summer when it's nice and warm. The plant has had time to grow back in if you've had it burn back from frost and um, just a, a very showy, uh, beautiful flower. Those flowers are about four inches across, four to five inches across, and uh, the color is really striking. Um, I don't water mine anymore, and the runners seem to root and show up in other places. So, um, you know, again, it's very much a survivor. So if you're going to use this in a design, you better know how you're going to contain it and that you really love it because it's going to be around for a while I can promise you that. Um, as you can tell I'm just not a big fan of any plant that I have this much trouble controlling so I think that's the biggest hesitation and for me it's a big mark against this uh, a plant. Here I'm showing you some examples of where it's grown into a number of other plantings. This is hard to read visually I understand that but it's kind of making the point here it is climbing up into a tree here it's wrapped itself all around some shrubs and now growing up into this tree so be very aware of what you're getting into but if you have a way to contain it like in the earlier picture like on a fence or a trellis or something uh, can be a, a nice showy addition to a garden and uh, yeah, there it is, just hanging out, climbing all over my jasmine. Jasmine's a lot easier to control and uh, and not as invasive. So, um, Ipomoya or um, indica, which is blue dawn flower, beautiful flower if you put it in the right spot and know what you're getting into. Enjoy that one.